Hello and welcome aboard Stratasys Flight 1989 to the future of additive manufacturing. Today our destination is to break barriers in part performance and production efficiency, not only for aircraft, but also for cars, trains, industrial tooling, even prosthetics. But first, we'd like you to familiarize yourself with the aircraft cabin. Did you ever stop and think how many parts around you could be, maybe are, 3D printed? For example, consider the need for replacement parts. An aircraft OEM doesn't want to store large inventories of trays just to replace the one in front of you. Or what if the airline wants to customize a part to match their brand, like this wall panel? The time and expense of creating a tool just for that would be sizable. And look at that ducting behind the wall panel. Small volumes of precise, complex, specialized parts, another perfect candidate for 3D printing. While today's 3D printing solutions can tackle some of these applications, they generally lack the part size, throughput, repeatability, and material strength to make them viable for integrated digital manufacturing. That is, until now. In just a few seconds, we will be landing in an aircraft factory. We will see Stratus's next generation 3D demonstrators in action. There's the Infinite Build 3D demonstrator, designed to address the demand for large, lightweight, thermoplastic parts with repeatable mechanical properties and the robotic composite 3D demonstrator, which combines Stratasys and Siemens technologies to revolutionize the production of strong, lightweight composite parts. Ready for a closer look? Well, we've just landed, so please prepare to exit the aircraft. The factory we are visiting today is creating production parts using Stratus's next generation 3D printing technologies. Let's start with the Infinite Build 3D Demonstrator. This is a revolutionary approach to FDM extrusion that increases throughput and repeatability. The system turns the traditional 3D printer concept on its side to realize an infinite build approach which prints on a vertical plane for practically unlimited part size in the build direction. As you can see, the Infinite Build 3D Demonstrator is fast, more than 10 times faster than today's FDM systems. Remember the interior wall panel from the airplane? It took just 60 hours to produce it on the Infinite Build, compared to more than six weeks using conventional processes which require the creation of mold tooling. And speaking of fast, Check out the Stratasys Robotic Composite 3D Demonstrator. It combines Stratasys' advanced extrusion technologies with Siemens motion control hardware and PLM software to change the economics and expand the design freedom for producing lightweight, structurally optimized composite parts. The Robotic Composite 3D Demonstrator delivers true 3D printing by using an eight-axis motion system that enables precise material placement and controlled fiber orientation for strength while reducing the geometric limitations and touch labor normally associated with composite part manufacturing. This structural dome part was produced in less than two hours. No post-processing or support material are required. And this composite auger is another example of leveraging multi-axis 3D printing to achieve optimal properties through fiber orientation while eliminating the need for secondary support materials and post-processing. These 3D demonstrators aren't just virtual. Ready for the real deal? Let's move to the exhibition floor. That's the Stratasys Infinite Build Demonstrator right in front of you. The part is being 3D printed horizontally inside. You see the gantry moving at two meters per second and cornering at up to four Gs, printing in Ultim 9085 material. A new micro pellet material feedstock 
is printed through a high dynamic range screw extruder. The inclusion of an automated tool changing system allows the extruders to be swapped out to accommodate different materials and tool types. If you look at the hoppers on the top, you see 30 pound containers of material which can be automatically replaced resulting in continuous operation. The interface here shows the part being printed inside the machine. It also provides real-time monitoring capabilities using infrared cameras to monitor the thermal profile of the part and the surrounding environment. Here at the back of the system, you can see the part exiting the novel five-sided oven, capable of creating a controlled thermal gradient to maximize part quality and minimize thermal stresses. The part can continue printing the length of the table. This is the aero fairing tool we saw before. The build time for this part was 23 hours. A surface finish of RA28 was achieved with six hours of post-processing. This tool would take 60 days and cost about $50,000 if done traditionally. And over here is the robotic composite 3D demonstrator. One of its most unique features is the use of mobile robotics. This results in a highly scalable platform with nearly unlimited print area and a multi-axis deposition approach. Multi-axis allows us to optimize the build sequence and control fiber orientation a critical requirement for maximizing load transfer in composite part applications. The system is also designed to incorporate an automated tool changing system. The result is a hybrid manufacturing platform capable of performing multiple core manufacturing operations in a single cell. Future hybrid work cells will be customized to specific application requirements and combine additive and subtractive manufacturing as well as various secondary processes. Now it's time to head back to the Stratasys booth and experience some of the parts we've seen today. Please remove your headsets.